Animating in SketchUp is really just a matter of saving a sequence of scenes and letting SketchUp interpolate the transitions between them. In this first example, we'll manually create a walkthrough animation by saving scenes as we move along with the camera. Press Option C to place the camera, and I'm going to start dragging right here towards this open door. So the camera will be right on the deck looking in the door. Then I'll type in 5 feet return for the eye height. Press Z to activate the zoom tool, and you can see down here in the measurements toolbar that the field of view is currently 30 degrees. Let's change that to 45 degrees to get a wider angle view, which is more appropriate for an interior. And then open the scenes window. Make sure that camera location is checked and click plus to add the first scene. Then press W to activate the walk tool. Walk forward a bit. Save a scene. Walk inside. Save another scene and then walk towards the kitchen a little bit more. And save a fourth scene. So let's take a look. Scene 1 is out here. Scene 2 moves us in a little closer. Scene 3 goes through the door. And Scene 4 takes us towards the kitchen. Open Model Info by pressing Command-Shift-I. The animation page contains two different numbers the transition between scenes, and the delay while you're at a scene. We don't want to have any delay at the scene itself, so I'm going to set this to zero. We have four scenes, so we have three transitions in between them. So if this was going to become a continuous animation, it would last exactly six seconds. We can preview that by going to Scene 1, Right-click on the page and choose Play Animation. And it will move through these three transitions of two seconds each. Now on the screen, it's going to pause slightly in between them. And it's going to loop around and continue animating. I'll click Scene 1 just to stop the animation. If you want SketchUp to actually interpolate between all of these positions in time, it's necessary to create a separate animation file and you do that by going File, Export, Animation. Here we'll choose the name, the format, and the options. I'll just format it for the web so it's quite small. I'll anti-alias it so it looks a little bit better. And then Export. It takes a little time while SketchUp is saving each one of these interpolated transitions between the scenes to disk. When it's done, we have a QuickTime movie on the hard drive that we can play, and here's the result. It's much smoother than we get in SketchUp, but notice that as we move through the space, it kind of shifts its position rather suddenly right there. And that has to do with the fact that we're interpolating between these four fixed positions. You can get a smoother result by using Rick Wilson's Flight Path Ruby script, which I currently have loaded. What this script does is it takes a curve and turns that into a series of scenes. So to get a smooth flight path, you should use a smooth curve such as a Bezier spline. Let's do this in the top view. So I'll press Command-1 and I'll press J to enter parallel projection mode. To make this easier, I'm going to turn off the roof layer temporarily. and then I'm going to go ahead and open up the Bezier Spline Toolbar. I'll create a cubic Bezier curve representing the flight path of the camera. And I'll just sketch that in right here. And then maybe I'll edit it to have a little bit less of a curve. We kind of need to have an S shape here to go in the door though. And then I'll double click to finish. Press J to enter perspective mode. Move the curve up in the blue direction 5 feet to represent the eye height. So there's our curve representing the path that we want the camera to take. I'll close this toolbar and turn the roof back on. Right click on the path and choose flight path. We're asked to set a number of feet per scene. 
So I'll just type in 10 feet, which is about right for this scale. We don't need to reverse the path because we started it over here. We ended it over here. So I'll say no. And it creates a number of scenes. So we go through these scenes just like we did before. But Flight Path automated this according to the curve that we drew. So now we can create an animation by going up to the File menu and choosing File Export Animation. And we'll call this Glide House 2 and export it in the same way. In the end, the movie looks like this. It's smooth, but it's a little too fast. If we want to make the animation last longer, we have to go back into SketchUp, go into Model Info, and increase the transition between scenes here to a larger value. One of the more interesting things you can do with scenes is create animations of moving section planes. Let's say we want to take this modular structure and show it growing out of its plan. We can do that by animating a section plane moving up in the blue direction. Because this is a group, I can contain a section within it. I'll double click to open the group for editing and then press Option S to add a section. I'll click on the ground to add that horizontally so that the section plane is just a few inches off the ground. This represents the ground plan of the building fairly well because you can see that highlighted in red. I'll close the group and open the scenes window. Expand the scenes. Make sure active section planes is checked. And in this case, I'm going to uncheck the camera location because I want to have independent camera control. Save the scene and then go into the group. Right click on the section plane and uncheck active cut, thereby turning the section off. You can't actually animate the position of the section plane. You can only save whether it's on or off in your scenes. So now that I've turned it off, I'll save an additional scene. So now we can make a transition between scene one, where the section plane is on, and scene two, where it's off. Notice how SketchUp moves the plane up in the blue direction, thereby animating this transition from the plan all the way up through the growth of the building. I've zoomed in on the plan in scene one because this is where the animation will begin. I'd like to update the scene with the camera location. So I'll check here and update the scene. Then I'll go to scene two and change the camera location to be more appropriate for this type of a view. And then update scene two with the camera location. So now we're creating a more complex animation because we're not only moving the section plane, but we're also moving the camera. So let's create an animation of that by exporting it to file. We'll call this Glide House 3. And here's what it looks like. It's a little too fast, and we see the section plane as it's moving. To correct these problems, go back into SketchUp. Open up Model Info and increase the transition time to 5 seconds. That will make a longer animation. Then simply press Ctrl S to hide the section plane. Re-export. This time I'll call it Glide House 4. And here's the result.